Known that you are truly someone special, you're kind, genuine, and selfless. I love you and promise to always love you without reservation and unconditional. I vow to always care for you and for our family, protect you, and be there always and after you. I promise to always fight for you, pursue you, and to love you with all my heart and unconditionally for the rest of my life. For I know that I'm not perfect. I'm totally committed to you and our family. We want you to be my warrant. I vow that we will always be a family forever. Try to settle it from all the ways the world tries to bring you down. Silver carpet with shades of red, I lie waiting and realize I can't let this end. I'm not sure what will come of it, but darling, it's evident. This ceremony is a very public expression of their love and for us all to wish them every joy and every happiness for their future. With the support of all their parents, Don and Bree have had the absolute privilege of being in an atmosphere of love, respect and support. We're now just going to have a slight ceremony and it's a gifting ceremony for you, their wonderful children. So um, you're going to be presented with a token each. Your mother's going to read it out and dad is going to present it. George, the eldest. Or did you meet it? The eldest cow and the wolf of the brothers. You're the smartest, kindest, intense, driven kid I've ever known. Your maturity and intelligence and ability to never waver from your natural integrity and hard work ethic, even during your teen years. You have always been my little, now not, not so little, man and first love. Well, <laughs> <laughs> our little, little Billy Boo Boo. What a delight, kind, beautiful, bright spark you are. Both inside and out, your light has been bright since the day you were born. You're so intelligent in your personality, and emotional intelligence is beyond your years. You've always been my little boo-boo. He still hops into bed and cuddles me. I love the way you love me and also the my first love. Jimmy and Tate, our little miracle twin. Jimmy, Jimako, our little dynamite hurricane. You were the kindest, funniest little kid. You were an absolute natural athlete. You were a born leader. I love how smart you are and how clumsy you are. Clumsy just like your mum. You're also an amazing athlete just like your dad. <laughs> just kidding, like me. <laughs> you did kick 100 goals, I think, like every day, like pretty. <laughs> I've heard, <laughs> every day. 
Oh, I've heard of this too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, little Tatey. Tate Tatey. Our little creative artist. You are so gentle and kind. Your ability to draw and your imagination and acting. Watch out, Hemsworth. You're a sensitive little soul and you're intense with your mum. You're such an entertainer. Love and great. Tanya, Laura, Karen and Mikel Burks. You have been Bree's best friends from childhood and so that's by Bree through thick and thick. Then there's Anita and Fee. You are her special group of best mates. The last you've shared with her are the light of her life. And Bree wants you all to know that you are eternally valued and much loved by her. Um, Bree and Don also want to acknowledge Don's brother, Jeff, and his much loved cousins who are here today, Becca and Winnie, as well as Mel, who is in the US. Bree was won over when Don had a shirt made up that read, I love Bree James on the back. <laughs> she did say that she found it a little bit weird. <laughs> but it won her over. And then on the flip side, she confessed that it could have sent her in the way, really, but anyway, we're here today. You see them at 3am when the world is asleep, other than the two of you, and you're eating in the middle of the kitchen floor. You get to see them when no one else does, and it's not always pretty. It's the snort and roll laughing. It's the tears when it feels like it's all falling apart. It's the farting, it's the ranting dances, it's the anger and the joy. Marriage isn't a beautiful thing, but it is amazing. It's knowing that someone loves you so much that won't leave you even if you say something nasty. It's having someone have your back no matter what. It's fights over stupid things, like someone not doing the dishes or picking after themselves. And it's those nights you fall asleep in each other's arms, feeling like there will never be enough time with them. It's cleaning up their vomit or just rubbing their backs when they're sick. It's the dirtiest, hardest, most rewarding job there is. Real, true love, unconditional love. Don, I vow to always stand beside you in happy and tough times. In front of you when you need protection, behind you when you need me to have your back. I promise to love you hard. Be absolutely loyal and strive to become a better person for you every day. I may have to work on admitting I am wrong and saying the sorry word. However, we're lucky we have our whole lives that I can't give you an expected day. <laughs> Most of all, I promise that I choose you. You are the one and only true love of my life. You're the best loving and loyal dad. The boys and I <laughs> all agree. <laughs> Please start wearing underpants. <laughs> And protect us from what we like to call no. sticky. Come on, <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I just want to share with everybody how proud Kay and I are of Brie and Don. 
and the boys, the, the four beautiful boys that they brought up, they're just, just very, so very special. We just can't get enough of them and we just love them to death. And uh, very proud of how they've done it. I'll get them by sure. <laughs> They've had it hard and they've done it hard, I must say, but they've come, in, come out and they're, look at them. <laughs> and, and for Brie to go back and get a nursing degree and then a master's, well, it's just so much work, you know. So, I've, yes. I've, we've enjoyed a lot of good times with Don and, and Brie and that's been great. And we love you. Donnie and Bree's love story is one of resilience, dedication and commitment. They've weathered life's storms together, standing strong as a testament to the power of love. And now they stand before us as husband and wife and I couldn't be happy. When we were asked to make a speech for Bree today, we did refer to our previous notes for guidance. But after discussions and laughs together, this is exactly the way the adventure is meant to go. Don, you really are Bree's soulmate, and when you met all those years ago at work, some might say it was just meant to be. Finally, you both find the quaint and perfect location to live in Terranor as your first home purchase together. You have a home and a space that is yours. The amount of times I've called Bree and she's painting the walls in one colour <laughs> or out putting up new fairy lights in the new zen zone Bree has created, it really is a place they call home. <laughs> Peter and Kay, I'm sure today you're feeling so proud of Bree and Don today and the life they have created with George, William, Jimmy and Tate. They have gifted you the title of grandparents and those boys love you both so much. From the spontaneous caravan trip visits up from Melbourne to the planned stays, you have and are creating such beautiful memories for those boys and for that they will be forever grateful. All Bree and Don want to do is make you proud and I'm pretty sure that today is one of those days. <laughs>